difference between being customer service and being of service. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. Of service means when they call, I answer the phone on the second or third ring. I respond to their voicemails, their emails. I'm pleasant and nice, I'm helpful. I want to help them get the very best candidates that they can. I want to be of service. Customer service is different. Anybody work in hospitality or retail? Yeah? So when, when I work in hospitality, retail, places like the Anaheim Convention Center, in the training, they teach us the customer is often always right. right. Yeah. Now, are your customers in human resources always right? No. no. So here's the thing, okay? And you guys, I'm telling you this because I was brought up this way too. I started my career in human resources in the early 80s and we were taught that we were subordinate people. We were the personnel department. I worked in a hotel at a personnel department in at the back, you know, by the dump. Anybody ever worked there? It's always there. And we were taught that we were subordinate personnel people, there to support them, them being the business. So I believe that we are not customer service. We should not consider ourselves customer service because what you find, even at Pyra today, in 2011, is people walking around kind of with their heads held down, thinking that they are subordinate to them. Them, the business. But we are not customer service. We're not a vendor. We work for the same company that they do. Do you understand? But think about it. You've, you've felt this, haven't you? You know, if I mess with them, if I piss somebody off, one of them, then I might get fired. Well, guess what? If they screw up and they do something wrong, they will get fired too. This is the way it works. We work for the same company. We're not a vendor. We have skin in the game. You know what I mean by that? You know, it, we are part of the company. So if the company is performing poorly, like our sales are down or our customer service is down, then we are not doing a good job hiring the right people, training, developing the right people, and vice versa. If the company is doing well, then we have skin in the game. We are part of it. You all understand what I mean by that, right? So it's important. We are a partner in the company's success and we have the ability to say no when appropriate. Now this is a problem, especially in recruiting and staffing. So for those you know, five or six or seven of you that raised your hand that are in recruiting and staffing, we in recruiting and staffing have a really hard time saying no. Now outside of that in HR, we're really good at saying no. No, you can't fire that person. No, you can't change that benefit. No, you can't do this, you stupid hiring manager. No, no, no. But in staffing and recruiting, we have a really hard time with it. We love to say yes. We don't like confrontation in recruiting and staffing. We can't say to a hiring manager, no, you can't hire that person with a Harvard MBA for $40,000. No, you can't run the Goodyear blimp uh, across Dodger Stadium for your one job in accounting. You can't, <laughs> no, okay? So we are also not in charge of hiring talent, okay? Who is? Hiring managers, that's why they're called hiring managers, right? So we should not be customer service people. Y'all understand what I say? Okay.